there's a problem that we need to discuss briefly, so please step into my office and close the door behind you and get a bucket out for puking. It's about to get gross. Disney, a name I'm sure you're all familiar with, it's a place of magic, adventure, and dreams. But what happens when that dream becomes a nightmare? And I'm talking about a sleep paralysis demon that's recently been paying Epcot a visit. And more specifically, Remy's Ratatouille ride at Epcot. Remy's Ratatouille has become less of a ride and more... Hello, Io. Yeah, she heard Ratatouille and, you know, sprung into action. She's a huge fan. But yeah, anyway, I don't know what it is about Remy's Ratatouille, but they are summoning the pervert devil. It's like a full-blown exorcism, but instead of dumping out ectoplasm and a haunted spirit, it's actually dumping out cum. There have been two separate instances of park guests going to the Remy's Ratatouille ride and exposing their penis. One of them was actually wanted for other sexual pest degeneracy crimes and was caught on Remy's Ratatouille smoking, watching porn, and masturbating, even finishing a full-blown climax and just dumped his DNA all over the Ratmobile. So he literally turned it into just a fucking cum dumpster. And then the following day, another park guest was getting trespassed outside of the Remy's Ratatouille ride. And during this uh, situation with the park authorities, the guy just dropped trouser, exposing his penis to the public as if he was doing a show and tell on cock. Both of these cases happened only a few weeks ago. So Lord only knows what we could be in another month if this continues, if it becomes some kind of trend. You know, maybe this is the curse of Remy's Ratatouille. Yeah, it's getting scary out there. But yeah, I thought this was so fucking weird, and I hadn't heard anyone talking about it, so I figured it's our duty here to discuss the important things that others are too afraid to tackle, such as <laughs> turning Remy's Ratatouille into your personal masturbatorium and ejaculating on this ride. It's, it's a fucking ride made for children at a Disney park. It doesn't get more degenerate than that. It's unbelievably fucking disgusting. Someone mentioned that earlier. Man caught watching porn and masturbating on a Disney ride. Forgot to look it up though. New Jersey man caught smoking and watching porn on Remy's Ratatouille Adventure in Epcot. That'll get you every time. I don't even know why they bothered to include smoking. That's like the least <laughs> startling news here. Robert Fitzpatrick was arrested and charged with a misdemeanor charge of exposing his sex organs. That sounded like straight out of biology class. Was there no one else on the ride? There are warrants for sex or for Fitzpatrick's arrest for sex crimes in California and New Jersey. Further details on those out-of-state charges were not included. Disney cast members were first leery of Fitzpatrick when he wanted to sit alone in a rat or ride cart on March 29th. Generally guests, generally, guests share the cart with other people. It was suspicious that the guest was in the cart alone. Why, why, why though? Why, why, would, why would you ever want to do that? Is it the ride that brought it out of him or just like that? It's not even like exhibitionist. It's like literally... Alone masturbating in a weird location. Several cast members monitoring the attraction and surveillance room saw Fitzpatrick smoke and touch himself. Twice they stopped the attraction and made a loudspeaker announcement that smoking was not permitted. They should have just called him out by name like, Ryan, put out the stogie and put your dick back in your pants, please. Just ruin the magic for a moment. Ride continued on, and Fitzpatrick began looking at porn on his cell phone and put his hand down his pants. Fitzpatrick then pulled his penis out in the open and continued masturbating inside the ride cart. One cast member said he ejaculated before leaving the ride vehicle. Holy shit. <laughs> so this is what he defiled, huh? That sick bastard. Even the rat looks concerned. On Remy's Ratatouille of all places is nothing sacred. Have some decency. Take that elsewhere. Take that to Dueling Dragons, but not Remy's Ratatouille. Please. The rat is pregnant now. I know. And they're gonna have to retire the vehicle. Or rather they should. At that point... 
that it's it's gone through too much already. Don't 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 subject anyone else to the horror. Like yeah, you can clean the cum, but the cum never fully leaves. The memories last forever. Just just get rid of the cart like like a jersey, like a jersey number. Just retire it. Should be noted that although Robert was alone inside the cart, the cart has vents open to the public and is constantly being recorded while the ride is in motion. I I haven't been on Remy's Ratatouille. But is this not a ride that, like, turns the carts around? Because I remember in a lot of these, like, I don't know, what, what do they call them? Like, slow slow movers? Weenie Hut Jr. shit where you just, like, slowly go through something and look at screens? Usually they have, like, the carts turn. And, they, like, you can see other riders. Is that not the case for Rumi's Ratatouille? Because I feel like at that case, there's a lot of families that got a lot more than they bargained for out of this show. It is. It's trackless. So it does turn. <laughs> I can already imagine, like, the parents, like, shielding their eyes. Oh, Jesus Christ! No, he's just... He's he's also got a chef in his pants, and he's, he's cooking over there. Please, God. No, 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 no. Oh, my Lord. The following day, Disney and law enforcement dealt with a second incident at Epcot where another man was arrested for exposing himself. There's an outbreak. There's a plague sweeping through Epcot right now. Good Lord. Man, Remy's Ratatouille just really gets the juices flowing. The sheriff's deputy was back at Remy's Ratatouille Adventure on March 30th, where a Disney manager reported that Sherwin Sheagon was constantly causing issues inside the park, the arrest report said. He threw items on the ground when authorities escorted him out of Epcot. Who, who is this? Sherwin Sharingan? I don't understand. This is Is this the guy who exposed himself? Waiting for a taxi to take him back to his hotel, and the deputy was writing the trespass paperwork when he pulled down his clothes, exposing his penis to those present. <laughs> that went from a trespassing charge right to, like, an actual, like, felony. Pulling your cock out at a Disney park. Jesus. Also been charged with exposing his sexual organs, a misdemeanor, according to circuit court records. This feels like a really light charge. Exposing yourself is one thing, but exposing yourself in a children's amusement park is a totally different thing. Aren't those two... Aren't, isn't that like a more serious charge? It's not a huge crime because Remy from Ratatouille was pulling his hair, forcing him to do it. <laughs> yeah, imagine he's just been framed. There was also a Disney employee who got fired for filming 500 plus videos under women's skirts yesterday. What is happening at Disney? Jesus Christ. What? Disney employee accused of taking videos of park guests' dresses and skirts for years is fired and arrested. Man, th there is no magic left at Disney. Just terror. Authorities responded to Disney Hollywood Studios March 31st after an employee was witnessed recording an upskirt video of a female guest at the Star Wars retail store, according to an affidavit. Jorge Diaz, 26, <sighs> told authorities in an interview that he had been taking videos of dresses and skirts of unknown females in Disney World theme parks for approximately six years. The man just openly admits it? He's like, ah, so you finally caught me. I'm like the Zodiac Killer of Upskirts. I've already filmed 500 plus videos. Diaz, who worked at the lightsaber store, told authorities he had what, es what he estimated to be over 500 videos on his phone and showed multiple examples of the videos to detectives. What, this guy, like, seems very proud. Like, happy he got caught. Ah, uh, you guys finally got me. This is great news. Here, come check my camera roll. Look at these. He told the detectives he took the videos because it's hard to find them online and they bring him sexual gratification. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Holy shit. Absolute degenerate. Why is his bond only $2,500? He has been released from the Orange County Jail. You best be wearing jeans from now on when you go out around the area. This man's probably got a whole network of cameras set up for those upskirts. They were impressed by his honesty. 
man, this guy, this guy is fucking evil, but he's an honest man. God damn it. I really don't know how their charges aren't more severe. Like, to expose yourself in public is already bad, and to do it at a children's theme park is much, much, much worse. Significantly worse. And then the upskirts situation, 500 plus videos, this is a serial sex pest. Like, these aren't, this isn't like some goofy thing, this is like actual crimes. Like, the charges don't sound nearly severe enough for what they have done. So I was super shocked to be reading that. Maybe that's just like preliminary charges and as the case continues to develop, more things will be tacked onto it as they discover more and, you know, go after them harder, hopefully. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about these situations because I hadn't heard anyone discuss it, really, and I thought it was fucking weird. So that's really about it. So yeah.